Hi, I'm Christina. And I'm Randy. Are you ready for an adventure? Come see our journey today at Galco's, the soda pop shop that has everything you can think of, or most of everything. Galco's Old World Market has been presented on several shows in the past, and we thought that it would be a great idea to present an update. For this adventure, we're headed about 7.4 miles from downtown Los Angeles to Galco's Old World Market. Galco's Old World Market can be found at 5702 York Boulevard, which is just a few blocks from the Los Angeles Police Museum. And we sure would appreciate it if you subscribe to our channel. Even though Galco's started in 1897, they've been in Highland Park since 1955. In the past, Galco's sold many grocery items, but now it's the Soda Pop Stop, which also sells some alcohol, and toys, and candy. Soda Pop Stop. It says fine wine, sake, and beer. So here's the front door. There's your wines. And we're going to be heading back to the back where it says Galco Blockbuster Sandwich. Oh, yeah, we're going to need a cart. <laughs> We're going shopping. Her favorite things to go shopping. <laughs> the very first thing that you find on your left as you enter the market is a small amount of retro toys. Kids of all ages find the perfect playthings. Pez dispensers, retro puzzles, giant pencils, paddle balls, balsa gliders, diving submarines, and much more. Then it's straight ahead to the huge retro candy section. You will take a trip down memory lane with items like Turkish taffy, Goo Goo Clusters, Cracker Jacks, Big Hunks, Nekos, and so much more. It's a blast from the past and even includes wax lips and candy cigarettes. What kind of old candy do you like? How about picking up an Idaho Spud or a Bar None, Sky Bar, or maybe a Charleston Chew? The old candy. I'm truly a kid in a candy store in this place. That's my favorite, right there. I'm crazy. It's my favorite. Get two of them. Strawberry, banana, Don't forget to pick up some of those wax lips. Yeah, wax mustaches. <laughs> and you better not leave without getting some pop rocks too. The original box of a bit of honey. Boston baked beans. <laughs> I should be paying attention to the stuff that's up above because the antiques up above are, are awesome. Now there's an old scale that's still in use today. Cool. Butterscotch beer. I think I'm down. If you have a favorite soda, you can have it shipped to you. And the full cases are stacked high and ready for shipment. I think I'm gonna go with an Oso Peach. The Soda Pop Stop is a soft drink specialty store that's more of a wonderland. Oh, there's my green apple soda. I have to have one of those. When you see this place, you're going to wonder how they found all these wonderful sodas. Look at Cola with 
with an orange flavor. These are five bucks each. You should keep it, but yeah. well, we ought to get it to try it. Jewel Mist is holiday cola. Cola with a splash of spice. Oh, well, you might get two. One you can keep, one we can drink. See if they have the penny. They have a peach. Three thirty for a four. Here, put a peach in there. go. That's what I'm getting right there. Real sugar Dr. Pepper. She's going crazy. These are all the new ones. What is that one? Oh, candy cane soda. Ooh, that one sounds good. Two bucks. Most of them are two bucks. $1.99. They're a holiday here. Yeah. Herps, oh, that's Punch is what they were talking about. This is this is Delaware Punch. Yeah. Calcos, stocks and ships more than 700 different sodas. Many are hard to find and small batch brands. There's Scotch beer and then you have Shirley Temple soda pop. Right. Italian cherry soda. Dang! You can find 108 diet sodas, 68 cream sodas, and 61 different root beers. Galco started out as a family Italian grocery store. In 1995, it made a shift towards carrying independent sodas when John Nisi succeeded his father as the store owner. According to John, he shifted to stocking soda during a period of poor business for independent grocery stores. Look at all the junk she's buying. <laughs> she thinks I'm rich. <laughs> yeah, well that I gotta get that. Dad's root beer. The big chain stores were buying up distribution channels and the independent grocers could not compete. So as the little guys went out of business, the soda stop shop began to flourish. It took a few years, but John's idea finally caught on and people started journeying from far away places to get a look at the store with hundreds of sodas. I gotta, I gotta try Americana Black Cherry. You know, th th this was a, this was a hot dog place back in the day. It was. Yeah. Cherry. Oh, diet. No yeah, there's no. Uh, real, real ale. There's no real ale, ale eight, but look at 100% Kentucky. <laughs> now, people in Kentucky would say. What's the big deal? Because AL81 is everywhere in Kentucky, even in the machines at the local businesses. But in the West, that's an item that's hard to find. Look at that, sweet pear cider. Does it gotta cook? Oh, it says it's hard cider. While soda is the main business at Galco's, there are also plenty of grown-up beverages on the shelves. So these are hard ciders and it goes down into the beers. And on this side of the aisle is all water. Well, okay, not just water. You see the non-alcoholic beer over there. But if you look, all this is hard either beer or hard cider. Look at Andy Gator. Purple hay. Vanilla porter. Mmm. Vanilla porter from Breckenridge Brewery. Roasted malt and notes of vanilla. Dogfish head. 
Wow, this has just got some really neat, all these different waters, pomegranate green tea. What is this water? Cider. Water, San Pellegrino. Look at, look at this avia, avia. Look at that sweet pear cider. Is it got it good? Oh, it is. It's hard cider. Oh, no. Look at this peach beer. Maybe we should try it. Look at the little kegs. Little kegs. Yeah. Beer. Here's your creation station. Choose wisely because all sales are final. And then here is all of your light carbonation to have you come. So for $3.59, you grab one of these bottles right here, this thing. It says you take and then you fill the bottle up to the line with carbonated water. Then you mix and match your flavors with eight to nine pumps and then cap your bottle and write your flavors on the bottle and they have everything. So, you ready? Yeah. A little more. There you go. All right. Okay, now. so she filled it with carbonation. Which one? Which one? I think you go with the apple. You wanted I apple. I think so. And it says eight or nine pumps. So here's one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm nine. I love apples. Let <laughs> me take a cap. Put this here. Okay. I put it here. I'm doing my own bottle. Ah! Okay. There you go, right on it, what it is. There you go. You went heavy. Yeah. Okay. All right, here we go. Heavy. Now we got peach. Nine pumps of peach. Nine pumps of peach. So one, eight, nine. There you go. That's peachy. It's real peachy. <laughs> she was having way too much fun with this. But at three dollars a bottle, you better not have too much fun. Clean up my mess. Wipe the bottle. There is peach. Carbonated peach. And a visit to Galco's would not be a complete story without having Hulhauser be a part of the story. You know the cast of characters over here. How you doing? I'm yeah. doing fine. Hulhauser. <laughs> Thank you. Nice to meet you, John Nice. So this is your dad. Yes, this is my dad, and this is my grandfather. Hi, how are you doing? Hi, man. History goes back a hundred years. It's been a grocery family that long. The original guy there. Yeah. John's mom has passed away as well, but Huell interviewed her making the famous blockbuster sandwich. Identical twin sons. Two twin boys. Yeah. Can you guys stand up? Can you stand up? And they're wearing their little Galco's soda pop trainee shirts. Guys, can you say hi to the camera? Give say away, wave. boys. Can you wave? Galco's also has a deli with its own rich history. They make sandwiches and one day, long ago, famed boxing heavyweight champion Rocky Marciano was in the neighborhood. The 1950s boxing legend was hungry and could not get a seat at nearby restaurants because of long lines. So he came to Galco's and grabbed a sandwich. The champ was impressed with the size of the sandwich as he could barely get it in his mouth. He exclaimed at that time, wow, this is a real blockbuster. Since that day, Galco renamed the sandwich blockbusters in honor of the champ statement and they still make blockbuster sandwiches to this day we've got our blockbusters to go 
And this is Wayne along here. Delirium Red. Delirium Noel. Delirium Tremens. Delirium Nocturnum. Belgian Ale. <laughs> $18. I'll be your Huckleberry. This is going to be expensive. <laughs> it's more than just a store full of soda. It's a story. A story of a family business that has survived over time. And if you don't get a chance to visit or stop by the store, you can buy online at sodapopstop.com. If you do get by the store, make sure to say hi to John. There we go. Dude, this is the main guy. Main guy. <laughs> main guy. Yeah. Thank Very you. Good. I think your name was John, correct? John correct. See? I that remember. Okay. <laughs> and John is always willing to help you out to find the sodas that you want. Here's all our worldly, worldly treasures that we brought back from Galco's Market. A little bit of everything. Galco's Soda, Soda Pop Incorporated. And you can have it shipped to your house too. For a minimal charge. <laughs> if you enjoyed our vlog, please subscribe. And ring that notification bell. And give us a like. It lets us know you care. Don't forget to comment. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.